What is up, everybody? It is no one shall come right back to you with an Eve Echoes video. Today, we are going to talk about how to properly run this game through an emulator. So, a lot of us like to sit on our PC and play these kind of games instead of actually being on our mobile device, such as they pulled off my butt. Your cell phone? Or another cell phone? There's two cell phones? Or one second? Or a tablet? See, there's many other devices you can go with this game at. Or an iPad if I wanted to pull it out of my butt right now. It's all the way over there. And I'm not going to run off the screen and get it. But we like to play it on multiple devices. But a lot of us like to sit in front of the computer while doing these kind of grinding sessions of doing these riding or missions or encounters or selling stocks in the game. And a lot of people have been having issues with multiple emulators that are out there. And from Eve's point of view, emulators aren't fully supported in this game. They're not a supported thing. But... There are ones that works and I've been using it for since day one I started this game and it has worked properly, worked good and it is called, I'll throw it up on the screen, Knox Simulator. This is the website right here and it is running Android 7 so it is not the most up to date Android but it is running Android 7 and it boasts superior performance, more stable smoother gameplay and multiple instances so you can run multiple if you want a multi-box like some people are doing or the ultimate experience so it is one of those ones that are right here i'll link this one down below if you guys want to grab it because this is the one i've been using is nox and we're going to go through some of the settings and thought process of why you want to use the emulator versus using the normal one if the first thing i want to go over though if you use your sign in as facebook for your um ios then you're in luck because if you signed it in from your facebook over there you can sign on to the Android emulator over there. It seems like I haven't tried it out yet. Somebody tell me that. So let's click on the settings of the Android emulator. So we clicked on the settings of Nox. As you see up here, it's Nox. My name is up there. And here are the general stuff. You don't really need to change any of this. What we're looking at is performance. I went with a custom performance since I have a Intel i7 9700K. So it has eight physical cores. So I gave the game six cores, four gigs of RAM. I could probably go way more because I have 32 grand computer. I have it on enhanced, enhanced compatibility mode. I would ship by 1920 by 1080. It shows as a tablet, which is odd when you go into the, um, uh, let's see where it's at. Da -da -da. Phone settings. It shows the S10 right there, 5G. And so we were in performance. There was one more, I remember there's game settings. Here's the one that I think makes a difference. So I have mine set for high frames per second, even though my monitor is a 4K monitor and it's not going 120 and the game is limited and capped out to 30 frames per second. But I give it everything out there. I turn off mouse acceleration in Windows. I have the um, open AT ASTC texture off or open. So after opening it, the graphics will be clear, uh, clear so it helps it out. Enable rendering cache. So this is the FPS. So it it t basically render, it just stores stuff up just in case for later that has to pull it up for later. I'm running this game at 30 frames per second with no issue. In the game, if we look at it, if we go to settings, I have the game set to uh, graphics, super fine settings, resolution is 100%, everything is 100% on, and I have no issues with the game. As you can see, I will turn my FPS counter on. Boom, you see up top left, uh, it's not showing or what? Uh, that's my computer specs. Actually, lower the computer specs. This is my computer specs right now. It is an Intel Core i7 on an MSI motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM. Available for the game is 14 gigs of RAM. Uh, my uh, virtual cores is enabled, so it's in uh, CPU VT. So when you run an emulator like this, you have to go in your BIOS and set that up. Most emulators will tell you how to do it, so it's not too complicated. It's scary at first going to BIOS, but it's not as bad. Just go off what the guide says. See, it says I'm running through OpenGL. I'm running the OpenGL 4.6 through the NVIDIA driver since I have an NVIDIA graphics card. You can see I have a RTX 2080, so that's a little bit of overkill, but I'm a content creator, so I use that for my encoding and decoding processes. And then that's about it in that one. And apparently I have a firewall on. Oops. And then let's go to show FPS. So up top left, it's not gonna show. So you can see up here, it's kind of small. It's just 29.2 and I'm spinning. No screen tearing, no nothing, just constant. As you can see, no issue at all with the screen. I'm running at super fine settings, so we can do that one. And so far, this is the best one. As you guys, can, other question was, on most emulators, your keyboard doesn't work. Uh, mine is popping up. As you see, I can type. I can do all the stuff I need to do. No issue at all. With um, and on uh, BlueStacks, which 
I'm almost natively using, the keyboard wouldn't work for this game at all. So it would type something, it would take a second to catch up, and then it would disappear. You're like, Ugh. and what I mean by characters, Blue Stacks had the issues where you couldn't name your character. It just, you could only choose the one it gives you and not the one that you actually want. And the reasoning why to go for blue or go to an emulator versus playing on your phone is for the fact that if you're in front of your PC all day and you want to play a game, run the market, go do some uh, ratting, be on Discord at the same time, talking through the microphone instead of using a phone or a second phone just for a second device, um, you can just use your computer for all that. And if you're trying to be a content creator or catch your videos, you can do it as well. You can throw your game up, throw up OBS, snag the snag it. And boom, there you go. It is that easy for it. It is great to have an emulator on your computer where you can, if you want to go ratting for long hours of time, instead of sitting on your couch, laying on your bed, being cramped up, you can sit on your computer and do your ratting, do what you need to do. And if you're like side hustling and doing something else, you can do your other job on the side or vice versa. Like for most games I play, like Star Trek and this, I have a window always pulled up to the side. I always have something pulled up. Like right now, as you see, I'm running this emulator and then pull our blue stacks. I have my Star Trek one pulled up at the same time with no adverse uh, adverse effects. Let me open. I don't know if it's going to catch this. The screen's going to blank out. But here is my task manager. So right now I'm running 55% of my CPU, which I have an Intel Core i7-9700K. You guys see, I'm only using 54% of it while having Chrome, Discord, OBS, Knox, Blue Stacks open all at the same time and. As you see, I may be pulling a lot of RAM since I'm, I have 32 gigs of RAM, 8.3. So if you want to save some on RAM, turn off Chrome because Chrome just eats away at your RAM as a memory leak. As you see, I have my uh, graphics card is only working at 41% because I'm recording this video. So it is using my graphics card. Usually it's sat around 8% when I took my last photo of it. And that's about it. Emulators give you that freedom of sitting there at your desk and just playing the game. This game is a full-blown MMO, and for me, full-blown MMOs are meant to be played in front of the PC. And for long hours of time, that's where it is. But this game gives us the both worlds. Gives us the mobile one, and for the chance of being on the PC and playing. It may not be officially supported by EVE Online, or EVE uh, Echoes just yet. I'm hoping they will fully support it, because as they know, as they can see, a lot of, M a lot of players that came over to Star Trek Fleet Command and other games have been playing on their PC for the longest. I hope uh, Echoes accepts that because a lot of us out here use emulators so we can actually play the game properly at full specs and without issues. And I hope they understand that and see that in their eyes that we are those players that are dedicated gamers. And I'm not saying other people aren't dedicated gamers, but we're dedicated gamers that want to be in front of our PC versus holding a device in our hands at all times or two devices if we're trying to do two things at once. So, yeah. All right, guys, it's No One Shall Sign Out. Remember to hit the like, the subscribe button, the bell notification down below. Remember to become a member and help out the channel. It's either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. If you want to keep helping this out, it'd be greatly appreciated. And there's a donation link down below. If you just want to do a one-time thing, just click the button and send me a donation. And I love you, but I love you guys anyways. All right, guys, it is No One Shall Signing Out. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.